Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a silent item elevator system. Now what's great about this system guys, it actually requires no repeaters or rest on dust to build this. Now check it out, we're going to put about a stack of items right inside, and all the items are going to go right into the chest on top. Which is fantastic, you want an item elevator to do that. Now the great thing about this is the fact that this bad boy is completely silent. And you can literally make this any height you want. Now to really prove to you guys that this is silent and I'm not lowering the volume or editing it in any way. I've actually increased the volume of the actual settings. So check it out. We're going to put a drop there with some redstone dust. And as you can see guys you could clearly hear it right next to us. See? That's perfect. So, so we're gonna put about 10 items right into this chest. And we're gonna get as close as we can next to this dropper. And as you can see, guys, it is completely, utterly silent. I mean, that's what you want. Especially if you guys have any kind of mob system or any kind of guardian farm, etc., which is a high volume of items going into this, you don't want this to have that continuous ticking sound. Now this also offers an overflow protection system. Now a lot of systems tend to pretty much break once this bottom dropper gets filled up to the max. So I'm pretty much going to fill up that bottom dropper and these hoppers up pretty much to the max capacity. And as you can see guys, it is still working non-stop. Look at that, that is perfect because what we're using here is a hopper timer. Now all that comparator does is pretty much turns off that torch which controls the hopper timer. The cool thing is the hopper timer actually sends a signal perfectly so that the item elevators could shoot up in perfect sequence. Which is great because you really want a system that doesn't break no matter how many items are inside. Look at that, it's perfect. So these are going to be the basic materials you're going to need. You will be needing a block of your choice, one dirt, a few hoppers, droppers, two comparators, a few stacks of torches depending on how big you want to make this, and of course an input. Now at this point guys make sure you have a 3x4 spacing. Now right there in the corner you're going to place one dropper going upwards. Then you're going to place a comparator right there going towards a block. Then you can place a torch right in front of that block. And at this point right there you're going to place two hoppers facing each other. Okay, so make sure that both hoppers are facing each other just like so. And right here in that back end, you're going to place one piece of dirt. Then you're going to place one comparator right there, a block in front of it. And at this point, guys, you're going to extend this block to your desired height. Now, once you've done that, guys, you're going to place a block right there. And you want to create this kind of checkered pattern back and forth all the way up to the top part of this. Fantastic guys, so you should have this kind of look at this point. Perfect. Now at this point guys, I want you to get your droppers ready. And you're going to extend this all the way up to the top to your parallel to the last block. Now right over here, there's actually two ways you can really set this up. Now you can either have your dropper facing upwards, or you can have it facing outwards, you see? Just make sure that that block right there is always parallel to the last dropper. Now, just for the tutorial, I'm going to have it facing upwards, but those are just two different ways you can really set this up. Now, at this point, you're going to place your torches in this pattern all the way up to the top. So make sure you place it behind and in front of those blocks, creating this kind of format to hit the end or the top of this design. Fantastic. All right, now, once you have this look, guys, we're gonna start setting out the output. So you're gonna place a few blocks here. Now, I'm just gonna place a chest here, but you can literally place anything else. You can have this connected to whatever you want. Just make sure that the output is going towards that direction. So these hopper lines should be going towards that chest. 
Now the input will be going towards that bottom dropper, you see? Now we're going to place about a few items right inside, about 10 items. And it's going to be working beautifully. Once you go up here, you're going to see that the items are right inside. And you're good to go. Look at that. All 10 items. And there you have it, guys. The system is complete. Anyway, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you could please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.